Hey everyone, it's Dale Coates, Engagement Director with TLMI. And today I wanna to give you a quick tutorial about um, purchasing our annual meeting sponsorships for this year. So just like all of our other systems, you're gonna log in. So I'll show you that login screen really quickly. You're gonna put in your username and password. If you don't have this, just reach out to the office, office at tlmi.com and we can reset your password or set you up for one. And then once you enter the site, it should populate your um, information that we have on record with us. So mine has populated here. So next I'm gonna be able to select our items um, and you'll see what's available. So each item this year has a, um, is tied to one of our events or activities and you'll be able to see how many are available, um, left available. You'll get here from the sponsorship prospectus and that's gonna tell you how many are available overall so you know what type of exposure you're gonna get um, in combination with others possibly. So once you get to this page, you're just gonna select um, your item or items, you know, there's no limit. You can pick more than one thing if you wanna um, have your sponsorship cover more than one of these events. And there's some on here this year that are specific um, for suppliers, but also some that are for our converters or suppliers. So converters, we're encouraging you to take a look at sponsorships this year for um, our label leaders of tomorrow, lunch and learn, um, our sustainability for the entire event, and then also for our flip cup um, opportunities. So once you've made your selections, you're just gonna hit next. You're gonna see those items. Um, in this case, just like with the activities, it thinks that there are more than one person associated with those. Since this is sponsorship and just for one company, if you want, you can consolidate your two items and remove that other attendee. These are going all to the same profile and you're gonna get hit next. So in the sponsorships, unlike activities, you have the option for credit card as a payment or bill me later. Um, if you choose bill me later, we're gonna send you an invoice right away and we do appreciate prompt payment of that invoice just so that we're not holding a sponsorship that might be available for someone else um, if uh, we, payment was not received in a timely way. So um, choose your payment method. If you choose bill me later, you'll just submit. If you choose that credit card, you're just gonna fill in your credit card information. You will be charged a credit card fee and then you'll hit submit and you'll be all set. Um, and we'll see you there. So uh, take a look. If you need any help, reach out to me or the office and we'll, um, we're happy to help you. Thanks.